This is the Norel lock. Around here they just call it lock number one. Lock number one is located in Arkansas, right where you turn off the White River to cut across to the Arkansas River. You contact the lock on channel 16. They may or may not direct you over to a working channel. Make sure you ask the lock master which side he wants you to lock on, or if you have a preference, you can ask him if that's okay. Uh, do that as soon as possible so you can let your line handlers know which side to prep for locking through. We recommend that you put out a good number of fenders on your boat. The turbulence can shift your boat back and forth against the wall so lots of fenders will protect your boat from any damage. Make sure that you either have a green light or get the go-ahead from the lock master before you enter the lock. They do require any crew that is on the deck handling lines uh, to wear a life vest. If the captain is inside the boat or up on the flybridge, he's not required to wear a life vest. They do not require you to shut off your engine while you're in the lock. This lock uses the floating bollards. So you're gonna have a single tie amidships. I try not to have my fenders too close to the center of where my uh, my one house pipe is coming out mid, mid deck. Um, because since I'm only using one line, the boat will go forward and back. So I have my fenders far enough the side, side that, um, that they don't get lost inside here. Looks like we're gonna be raised about 20 feet. This lock uses the underground pipes to fill the tank and drain it. So the lock doors stay closed the entire time. This lock is 600 feet long. Make sure that you wait for the blast or the lock master to give you the go ahead over to VHF radio before you let loose your line and exit the lock. That's when, let her loose. Thanks for watching.